think it's really unique that I, at 17, in high school, get this opportunity. It's going to put our county um, ahead of the curve. That we're all working together towards uh, solving the problem and generally raising the skill level in the whole county. The industrial manufacturing technician program incorporates the certified production training and bridges it to the specific processes that a business uses. We're learning, for instance, about quality in the CPT training and all the various kinds of measurements and, and things that are required in that. The bridge to it is the job book where the business gets to, to put in their practices and the, the uh, apprentice then is again applying the theory that they learn in the e-learning classroom to, well this is the way that my particular employer uses those um, fundamentals in determining for their product. Ever since I was young, I've always been interested in seeing how things work and Legos and robotics. From what I understand, I'm the first in Elkhart County, and I believe I'm one of the first in the state of Indiana to get to have this unique opportunity of being in high school and going to this manufacturing automation apprenticeship. I see a lot of value in this in that I can learn not only how something works, but how to do it hands-on, what exactly I'm doing, not just the method behind it, but why it actually works. With this program, I feel like I can further myself even more for my eventual career pathway into controls engineering, robotics engineering, a technician. I feel like this program gives me a lot of different options for what I can do. I can explore what I like, what I don't like, get a taste of everything. I feel like it'll be very helpful overall. Right now we're having um, a hard time um, attracting um, service technicians, uh, mostly in our, our business, uh, with any skill sets. Elkhart County is over 50% manufacturing. Um, we're under 3%, maybe even 2% unemployment. Um, we need to have these tools and these, these kids coming out um, with these uh, abilities, and it's, uh, uh, it's, it's becoming something that we have to have, uh, more so than just want to have. this moment in time there are funds that pretty much cover the entire cost of putting incumbent workers into this skill up program. I'm a firm believer that if we develop the stream of qualified people, businesses will find us. We will see an influx of businesses into the county based upon the skill sets that they see in the general population.